Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this gorgeous piece of furniture, uh, chest of drawers, that actually looks uh, gorgeous. It looks like it's antique, but it's just a replica. It's in pretty good shape, made out of uh, good wood. What I have planned for this piece today is to remove the hardware, uh, because this hardware are throwing me off. I'm going to remove the hardware, close the holes, Recreate mold here and you use a keyhole mold from Resin with Prima and I'm going to give it a really good clean and then I'm going to uh, do some custom mix of Anis Lawn chalk paint to create some gorgeous color I have in my mind. I made some minor repairs here. Uh, I just glue veneer that was peeling a little bit and I put some wood filler. So let's remove the hardware first and then I will close the holes and give it a good clean. Actually, the first thing I want to do is make some keyhole molds. Uh, I'm using this. This one is called Grander Keyholes and I am going to create, I'm going to create this one. I like this one the most. So for that, I'm going to mix my amazing uh, casting resin. I use this all the time. You just mix equal parts and pour it into the mold and that's it. You mix this until it turns clear, which it has happened very fast. And once it's all clear, like this one is now, you pour it into the mold. Yeah, you can always push it in the little areas. Like this, that looks great. I'm going to put this aside for 15 minutes or until it turns white. And while that is drying, I'm going to remove the hardware and clean the piece. I cleaned the piece off the camera and I put wood filler in the holes, so I will let that dry. Uh, my mold is dry here completely, and now I'm going to remove it. And as you can see, we have this beautiful mold here. It's going to look so gorgeous once it's painted. I'm going to put it here right in the middle using Gorilla Glue. I'm going to put something heavy on top of this so it can dry nicely and be tight on there. Now that my piece is all prepared, I can start painting. One thing I haven't done in a really long time is mix some colors and create a custom color, one of a kind. And today I pick Capri Pink and Rodmel to mix and I have some idea how it's going to turn out, but I'm not sure completely, so let's try. I have a measuring cup here. 90% uh, of the time I don't measure when I'm doing custom mix, but for the purposes of this video and to help you guys, I'm going to measure it this time. So let's open this paint. We're gonna have to mix this. This one been sitting here for a while, so it's kind of thick. I shall just probably open you can. I got a new can because the other one is at the end and it was so thick, so I'm just going to save that for accents, for dry brushing. So I got a brand new one here and we're going to open that. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. I'm going to stir this. When your paint sits for a long time, you have to stir it really good. Mm -hmm. 
look at this color we created today this is a gorgeous like a plum color and i really love it what i did here i used one cup of rodmel which is purple and half a cup of capri pink which is a very bright pink and we got this gorgeous mix and this is what i have in my had in my head i'm just so in love with this color <laughs> It's always a good day when you get a good mix. For this project, I'm using Annie Sloan Medium Brush. This one is my favorite brush. Uh, when I paint in every which direction, you just get great results and it goes super fast. Oh boy, this is so pretty. The first coat, you're just trying to cover the piece. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to get the paint on there. So just paint in every which direction. So I want to say this color is yummy. I am not that I'm in love with this color. I'm obsessed with this color. I am, I don't even know how to describe. This is so yummy, happy, bright. Oh, I'm done with the second coat and it's completely dry. But once it got dry, I noticed there is some areas like here and there and here that is missing some paint. So because of that, I have to go ahead and do a third coat everywhere. Uh, once I'm done with the third coat, I will let, leave everything dry overnight. And uh, then I will come back tomorrow and continue working on this gorgeous, gorgeous piece of furniture. So this piece, I want to make it beautiful inside and outside. So first I got an idea to add Rizamut Prima Transfer, this one, Earthly Delights. And I wanted to add it on the side of the doors, on both sides. But then I thought about how this piece has this door in the middle and I'm planning to highlight it with gold later on. And I thought it will be too much flowers and that those details I had an idea it will clash. So instead of doing that, I am going to paint inside with Athenian black and make my inside drawers black. And then I'm going to put this beautiful transfer on the side of the drawer. So when you open, it's gorgeous and beautiful just as is from the outside. So that's how I got this idea. So first let's uh, paint the drawers. I already painted majority of my drawers uh, using Athenian black and Annie Sloan flat brush. So I just left a little part here for you guys to see. And once that is dry, I'm going to apply the transfer. This one is very big transfer, probably my favorite transfer by Redesign with Prima. And I've done a video where I use a whole transfer. Today I'm just going to use some parts. My idea for this is to put this transfer like this. So when you open the drawers, it's so nice and bright and happy. And that's what I'm going to do.
this looks so beautiful and I'm going to repeat this process to uh, both sides on the drawers and this is going to be a beautiful surprise when you open this piece and you have this gorgeous beauty inside. <laughs> Everything is done. All I have to do now is put clear wax, black wax for details because I can't resist these gorgeous uh, curvings, cravings. <laughs> because I can't resist these gorgeous carvings. They're just calling for some shading with black wax. I already put the holes uh, and then I'm, at the end I'm going to add gold and we will be all done. Uh, the piece needs to be protected inside and outside. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm using Anislon Clear Wax and Redesawit Prima 2 inch waxing brush. As I'm applying the clear wax, you can notice the color is getting deeper and richer, and I love it even more. going to wipe all this extra as you can see there is a lot of extra wax so you just have to wipe it and it's all going to look nice and smooth if you miss any area just go back over it since I'm already here I'm going to grab some black wax by Annie Sloan and I'm going to unload it because I don't want too much on my brush. And I'm going to go over here. a little bit and I'm going to apply decor wax by Redenzavit Prima eternal shade I'm just going to go around the edges because this piece won't be complete without gold a lot of gold Now we're going to do the same process to every drawer. Just go with clear wax, black wax, gold wax. When you have these little areas on your pieces, just use a little detail brush to get in there because it's really hard to get in there with a cheap brush or any regular brush. Here we can go with a bigger brush. This looks so good. And for this, I prefer actually my finger. It goes faster. Oh, this is so pretty. This combination of colors are just so good. Beautiful. Look at that.
look at this gorgeous beautiful I love it so let's keep going For this piece, I picked this gorgeous vintage hardware that I saved from some other piece of furniture. Uh, this is just so beautiful. Uh, as you can see, this one is already gold, but the gold is not quite the same. This one is more warm than this. So I'm going to just apply the same uh, decor wax by Resilent Prima, which is called Eternal, and we are going to match the shade of gold. So let's just do that. It's not so noticeable, but it's enough noticeable to me so I like to match my gold and we're done with this beautiful piece I love this color. I'm so in love with the color, with the shape, with the gold, everything. And I don't know how I'm going to let this piece go. It's just gorgeous inside and outside. Uh, Anislon chalk paint is great to mix. Uh, as you can see, you can create some beautiful custom mix color. Uh, and I really love how this look inside. Of course, I had to add some shading because I can't just finish this piece without adding some black wax. I love everything about this piece, the shape, the color, hardware, every single thing I'm crazy about. And I think this is one of my favorite pieces I have ever done. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay.